Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So we're finally here and we're finally ready to go ahead and make that trade. So I looked at all the comments from the last video. So what we decided to go ahead and actually do is go ahead and make a move for Kevin Love, hoping that we could possibly somehow get Zach Levine in the offseason or possibly next year. So the two options we have is get K Fielder or get Mo Williams. Now the big difference is if we go ahead and get Mo Williams, we will have to go ahead and trade a second round pick as well. So that is the key issue here. And I kind of contemplated this for a couple of minutes. You see me going back and forth, don't know what I want to do, but we decided to go ahead and go with Mo Williams. He's a better shooter. He will help us out now and he'll give us a pretty decent point guard back on the court. So that's the move. We get Kevin Love. We get Mo Williams. We give up Goran Dragic, which isn't a big problem. And apparently, a lot of the fans like that. So we had our first press conference after the trade. I kind of make a mistake here because I told the media I'm looking for Kevin Love to be a good team leader. And apparently Hassan Whiteside did not like that. But everybody else did like it. So hopefully a sit down with Hassan Whiteside to get his morale back up and we will be okay. But we are not done with just that roster move. We go ahead and we're going to release Rodney McCruder. He doesn't get any playing time. But we're going to go ahead and release him because we need another point guard and the other point guard is going to be mario chalmers so a good solid decent backup point guard that we have to go with mo williams hopefully those two can at least hold it down until the offseason we get a better point guard we need somebody here in this lineup and that's exactly what we went and got we got him for the league minimum salary which is very good not going to hurt our salary cap whatsoever hopefully he could bring something to the table he's going to accept we got ourselves a backup point guard and i'm still not done so wayne ellington i like this guy a lot definitely a pretty good shooter but doesn't really get a lot of playing time here and i want another small four so we're going to go ahead and release wayne ellington now i know i could move him and play him at small forward but i definitely like lance stevenson so we're going to go ahead and sign lance stevenson move him to the small forward position and he should be coming off of the bench and giving justin winslow some time to rest while he comes in and plays that small forward position so that's what we went ahead and did sign him for 2.34 million obviously just one year we'll go ahead and reassess everything during the offseason but this is going to be our rotation as of right now we're going to insert tyler johnson in the starting lineup as well then we got kevin love hassan white side with lance stevenson coming off of the bench i definitely think that this lineup is a lot better than what we had but that's pretty much everything i have in this episode let me know in the comment section below do you guys think we upgraded our team with this lineup and hopefully we can start winning some more games as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are enjoying this series if you are please go ahead leave this video a like subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy d lloyd i'm gonna see y'all next time peace Look at all my sauce, see me going crazy, like in the 80s Looking at me like, where are all my flaws? I don't know, I'm feeling lazy, don't even care now All up in Japan right now, I'm pushing for that moolah like a friend out now That 808 be kicking like a penthouse now